Hello and welcome to the SKU Savvy YouTube channel. In this exciting tutorial, we're going to go through lot tracking and expiration dates. So to kick this off, let's go into the feature settings for your account. And there's two particular features that we're going to point out. Number one is just turning on expiration dates and lot tracking, which by default is going to make all new products added to the system a perishable item. So just keep that in mind that uh, on the products, we'll go through this in a second, there will be a flag turned on to make that item perishable. The second is to limit one lot per bin. So if you do turn this setting on, it will require you to have lots in different bin locations. Whereas right now I have this turned off so that I can allocate more than one lot and expiration date to one particular bin. So once you have those arranged, uh, then the next setting is we're going to look at the products. So if I go into a product here, what you can see is this item is perishable. So this flag is going to require a lot number and expiration date for any new inventory coming into the warehouse of this product. Now this is on a product wide setting. So all of the variants for this particular product are going to be counted as a perishable item. The next thing that we're going to do here is uh, because we're going to go through purchasing a perishable item is we have already outlined the relationships between our vendor and the product itself. We're going to use this creatine as our product example here today. So I've already set this up with my supplements plus vendor. That's going to enable us to place a purchase order for this perishable item. Once we have those two things set up here, um, I want to point out the next thing to set up, which will be in your account settings, which is the notifications for expiring product. As you can see, we've already got a few notifications set up here. What this does is it will give you a notification for the time period that you set prior to that item expiring. So for this particular notification here, across all of our warehouses, we're gonna get a notification 14 days before an item expires within the company. And that's going to enable us to go ahead and deal with product that might be expiring. Now let's go into a warehouse. And when we're in a warehouse, where you'll be able to see and actually up here on the dashboard, you'll be able to see expired lots. So we can see, okay, manage our expired lots. And as you can see, we have one that has expired there. So we could click into that and just delete the inventory with our reasoning that the lot has expired. And that will remove the inventory from your warehouse. Now on the inbound side of things, first of all, one way to bring inventory is in is to place an inbound purchase order. So I've gone ahead and I've already created a purchase order here from our Supplements Plus vendor. Now, again, we already have this product aligned with that vendor. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and check this in. We'll mark it as delivered. And when I go ahead and receive this inventory, it's going to ask us for a lot number associated. Now, I've already got a few lots there, but if you needed to, you could create a new lot and you could set to say one year out, let's say, and that's going to automatically select the expiration date. Uh, you also can just enter a specific date for the expiration of this particular lot. I'm just going to cancel that and we will use our existing lot here. So we'll select that. And so now we've counted two and now down here we can see the lot number and expiration date associated with this inbound purchase. So we'll go ahead and allocate this to a bin location. Now, right now I have the I have the test scanner turned on. Otherwise, you would just be prompted to scan that straight to a bin location itself. So now we've gone ahead and we have brought this product in with a lot number and expiration date. So we can go ahead and complete this. The second method that I want to go through is just an ad hoc adjustment of inventory. So again, here I'm going to select the same product. You also could scan that product right there. And as you can see, we have a few lots already associated with this product. Now, again, the same workflow applies where we can set up a new lot and expiration date here. So I could say six months. 
and that's going to give us the ability to create this lot. It will automatically pre-select it. Now we could go ahead and scan or select our bin location and assign this product within our warehouse. I will point out at this stage, the setting to allocate more than one lot to a particular bin if you have that turned on at this point, you would not be able to store this lot inside of this bin. And that's because you would, it would enforce you to have a separate bin for each of your lots there. So that's where the effect comes in for that setting. Now let's go through the order picking process because in this stage, we're going to have, let's go into a fulfillment batch and find an ex fulfillment batch with an expiring product in it. Okay, so within this pick batch here, as you can see, we have this mid-workout product and we have a couple of, well, one lot associated with this product and it's stored in two different bins. So this is currently available to pick and it has our lot number associated with it. And the system is going to highlight the oldest product first so that we pick from our oldest stock. Now, if you have a combination of expiration or products that have a lot number already and product that doesn't have a lot number, then you will be shown both options because um, you know the expiration date will override that and be the first one selected if it is the oldest product, uh, but you will be able to override that. So what you're not going to see is if a product has already expired, it will not be available to pick from. So keep that in mind. And again, the way that you can determine where your product is at in terms of an expiration perspective is if you go into your inventory and lots table, you'll be able to view exactly where this product is, how much of quantity you have there and when it actually expires so that you can go ahead and remove this if it is in fact an expiring product. So hopefully that will be helpful when going through and setting up the lot tracking and expiration dates for perishable items in your inventory. As always, if you haven't already, make sure to get a free SKU Savvy account at skewsavvy.com forward slash register and be sure to subscribe. We really appreciate your support.